If you read comic books, you already know who Jeff Jones and Gary Frank are. They are famous for great works like Batman Earth One and quite infamous for other works like Three Jokers. We may talk about this one one day. Geiger is a six issue series released in 2021 by Jeff Jones and Gary Frank. It may come back again in the future uh, with an extended universe, so is it more like Batman Earth One or Three Jokers? 2025, The Nuclear War. Okay. Tari Geiger had a simple life in an unstable world, but everyone knows he had always been prepared for that kind of modern doomsday. He had a bunker with supplies in his backyard. I have the best stocked survival shelter in northeastern Pennsylvania. One day, the long-awaited nuclear conflict starts, and Geiger rushes to the bunker with his family. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! wait. Everybody just calm down! But his neighbors knew about the bunker and decides to take it from him. He forces his family to get inside and lock the door while he stops his neighbors when the first bomb drops. Hello there. And that's only the first three to five pages of the book, so you won't learn anything new about his life before the nuke. 20 years after the bombs dropped, the world is shattered. It's impossible for people to go outside without a suit, and a few iconic tyrants are running the last big cities. But there is a legend about a shining man who does not need any suit and who can melt your face by touching it. People say he survived the bombing and he's still watching the bunker his family entered 20 years ago. Story-wise, Gaga tries to picture an apocalyptic western with um, colorful and iconic characters, and it works wonderfully. The city of Las Vegas is incredibly interesting in itself, and you can easily tell that Jeff Jones got his inspiration from works of art like Mad Max for uh, the vibe of the city and the universe, Fallout out New Vegas for the general atmosphere of people being fond of ancient civilizations and Tyrants also. A bit of Ghost Rider for the character design of Geiger and a bit of Deadpool for the humorous tone, which uh, didn't really work for me. It was a bit weird, maybe too weird. The story is pretty simple, it's written like a western, which I really enjoyed. But as the story is told like a legend, the characters are not developed enough. It really feels like Jones had a legend in his mind and he just rushes through it. Even though he released some other issues to develop the world of Las Vegas, which is a big city in, in the book, or uh, other characters, it feels like the main story is not as developed and not as interesting. I actually really liked uh, the other issues, the unnamed to develop other characters and the background of certain places also. It has a lot of different communities, a lot of different things you never see in the book and is that that's too bad, okay? That's just too bad. You have a lot of uh, communities that you just heard about but you will never see them and that's quite lame. But in the end, it is told like a legend and legends are not heavily developed. So it kind of makes sense. I just feel like I haven't had enough time to care about the main character, to fully appreciate his own story. The art is amazing, Gary Frank, always the king. So I recommend this book if you're into post-apocalyptic stories and western, because it's a good mix of these two genres. But it's not as developed as I would have liked it to be. It's a 4 out of 5. See you guys. You're eating 8-year-old tomatoes.